So guys, got a 2015 Yamaha R1. Going to be doing both wheels on it, so I'll show you how to take them, uh, take off and install the front and rear tires on a Yamaha R1 2015. Let's take a look at it. Nice and black. I like the red on it. Anyways, got the nice. Not sure, I think it's the SC, uh, yeah, SC Projects, titanium, fancy. Anyways, I'll show you how to take it off and on, and let's go from there, alright? Alright guys, we're going to start with a 32mm socket. be real good if you got spools to uh, lift this bike up with. Alright, so, FYI, I get spools. Spacer and your adjustment block. What we're gonna do is that out. I've already got the wheel supported. The uh, other adjustment block was hitting the, hitting the stand, the tab right here. All right, slide our axle off. chain off, grab the bottom, kind of roll the wheel forward and gently set it off to the side. Now, you get the sensor down here, uh, pick up, and what you do is, you don't have to pull your caliper out, just get it to where the caliper clears and twist the wheel, kind of lean over the caliper. Back on the tab, take off the spacer, the drive hub, all of our rubber isolators. Now there is a, oh, they got sealed bearings in here now. That's good. There's another spacer inside. Take that out as well. So let's go to the front. All right, guys, here's the front now. You want to be careful when lifting it up because you got your sensor right there. If my stand was over too far, this pad would actually be resting on the bottom of that sensor. Now, if you don't feel comfortable just leaving it in there, there's a small Allen screw. Take that out, pull the sensor off, be gentle, and then that's what you have to worry about snagging it. So, so same as the back, 32 millimeter socket. Take the front axle nut off. light aluminum then six millimeter Allen loosen up our pinch bolts you don't have to remove them just loosen them up both sides then take a 12 mil socket Calipers. I'm going to take my zip wrench. back just a little bit, twist it, open them pads up, don't crank on it too hard, when we pull the caliper out, kind of roll it out so you clear your wheel. Grab yourself a rubber mallet. 
pretty good. Alright, ready to shoot out your axle halfway like I did. Put your toe with your foot underneath the wheel. Slide the axle all the way out. Careful of your calipers. Slide the wheel out. Spacers on each side, just take them out and set them on the side that came out. When I come back, I'll show you how to put everything back together, alright? Alright, it's time to put the wheel back on. First thing you do, before you even leave the shop, make sure the rotation is going in the correct direction, okay? This bike, it's easy, the sensor is on the left side, so if you're staring at the sensor, your wheel tire should be going counterclockwise, alright? Make sure you check that before leaving the shop. This way they can correct it if they did it. Alright, put our spacers in. I like to use my foot on the front wheel as a support. Get underneath the wheel. Wash some calipers. Okay. Watch that wheel sensor too.
side here. Put that on. Rubber isolators. Check her inside. There's no spacer inside this one because it's right there. Stick this bail in. Make sure it's well, it's flush. Got spacer here. Now watch how I do this. The same way you take it out. Wheels going to go in an angle. You lean this over. Ease it on in. Kind of get your caliper lined up. Your pads. Chain slid off a little bit. Get that out the way a little bit. Support. Now we can kind of straighten the wheel back out. Watch your spacers. Caliper still on that bracket. Alright, we're good. We're going to take our chain, start on the top of the sprocket. It's best to have the bike in neutral to do too. spools in the front hole. Get your adjustment block, see how it's hitting it. So, kind of the issue I was having on the other side. snug make sure the wheels all the way forward 
chain's adjusted. Watch that chain, sometimes it'll tighten on you as you're tightening the axle. There you go guys, 2015 the Yamaha R1, uh, both wheels mounted, balanced, and I showed you how to remove and install. Just a few tips and reminders, be careful with that front wheel sensor. Uh, if you don't feel too comfortable with it, take it off and just kind of hang it off to the side out of the way. So and then the back wheel, you don't need to take the caliper off the bracket, you don't even need to take the bracket outside of the uh, swing arm there, just kind of lean it over, twist the wheel, roll it out, be gentle. So, if you'd like to see give me a thumbs up, uh, comment down below if you have any comments, obviously. And uh, make sure you subscribe, alright? I'll see you guys next time, alright? Adios.